What's up guys, welcome back to 4x4 Jumpman. Today we're going to talk about the BF Goodrich tyres, the All Terrains KO2s, and I've had them for about a year now, and we're going to review them. Then the tyres, the tyres are Goodrich, BF Goodrich KO2s, all terrains. Let's first talk about the history of BF Goodrich tyres. In 1870, Dr. Benjamin Franklin Goodrich founded the first tyre factory in North America, in Akron, Ohio. Even the performance was already an integral part of the brand's DNA. This led Charles Cross Goodrich, son of Benjamin, to establish the very first tyre research centre in the United States. As a result, BF Goodrich began to stand out from the competition as early as 1903 when it provided the tyres from the Winton Touring Car, the first car to cross the North American continent from east to west. BF Goodrich tyres has so much history and in 1984 BF Goodrich tyres and Mazda cruised to a championship C2 class victory at the 24 hour of Le Mans. In 2002 to 2007, BF Goodrich wins the Dakar Rally for the sixth consecutive year, and in 2006 to 2011, BF Goodrich drives to five consecutive World Rally Cross Championships. And in 2017, BF Goodrich triumphs in their return to the Dakar Rally. And this is why BF Goodrich tires are so popular because they are Baja champions. So the tire I have is a BF Goodrich All Terrain KO2 and it's for off-road and it's a 285-70-17. So I've driven it through the sand, through the dirt, through the mud, through corrugations and through all the rocky steps. The BF Goodrich is an all-terrain and all-season 4x4 SUV and light truck tire. It's got all aggressive all terrain traction on and off road. It's robust sidewall design, staggered shoulder blocks for greater maneuverability in soft soil and deep snow. And it's got advanced tread design for longer wear. A tough rubber on the BF Goodrich All Terrain KO2 off road tire resists sidewall punctures for robust performance. A thicker extended shoulder shield protects the core while an advanced deflection design prevents objects from snagging and splitting the sidewall, even on the toughest terrain. And this is why I chose these tyres. So the front is on a 2 inch lift and it's also got a winch and it's also got a booba. And at the back it's a 2 inch lift and it's just a tub. So we'll go around and have a look at each tire and I'll show you this is the left side front tire. That's how much tread it's got right now. So this is the right side front tires. So it's got an advanced footprint which distributes the stress for longer and more uniform wear. It's also got very little noise on the road. And this is the right side on the back. And this one's still got pretty good tires. Not much wear on this one. So this tire is the back left near the tub. This one's pretty worn out already. This used to be at the front left and it's worn out because I didn't align the wheels and the front is heavier as well. So this one's lost a lot of thread. So I've done about 24,000 kilometers on these tires I've had them for over a year now and I should have gotten wheel alignment when I did get the tires. 
So what you want to do should be rotating your tires so that you can get more out of them. So I've moved this from the front to the back. So this is the inner side of the tires. So they're kind of wearing out more on the outer side. So it's always good to wheel balance and do your wheel alignment. So I've recently done the wheel alignment and fuel economy as well has reduced. It was from 11.2 and it went back down to 10.9. So the KO2s are actually a Baja Champion tires. And this is why they're worth a lot of money. Well, this is why they're very expensive. Sorry about the dirty tires, guys. So this tire, just one tire, is almost $450. And these tires are very aggressive and very good for off-road driving. So what I think about these tires is that they're really slippery on the wet and they're very expensive but other than that if you really want tough tires on off-road these are the tires you need to get because they're so aggressive on off-roading and they're really good in the mud overall in dry grip and braking they're very fantastic and in wet grip and braking they're not so great but another great thing about the thread, it's got ejectors that prevent stone retention and an interlocking thread design provides block stability to resist irregular wear, experience longer thread life and more miles of on and off road driving. So comment below on what you guys think of the BF Goodrich tyres and also what other tyres would you go for? So if you like this video guys, please like and subscribe and comment below if you have any questions and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.